What's up, y'all? I haven't done this the last, like, two days, which is on me. Um, yeah, the uh, last couple days have been a wee bit busy, which isn't an excuse. Um, God, I hope that stays. Um, it's not an excuse. I honestly want and need to, not need to keep this going. I want to keep this going. I, um... Yeah, this is this has been really cathartic, in a lot of ways for me. Um, enjoying the process of just like doing this daily and sticking to it and letting this be a little bit of a video journal dialogue sort of or <laughs> dialogue. Lol, it's very much a monologue, monologue sort of thing. Um, just getting used to just this process of talking to the camera. Um, yesterday, Taylor got her. Um, submissions to graduate school in which I'm very proud of her for uh, which is big it's really big it's something that she's been wanting to do for a while now um, and we finally kind of said fuck it um, the this is something we've been talking about for the last couple well she's been talking about it for the last couple of years um, we had been talking about it for the last couple of months even before I went to LA to go film the show and um then the due date came around and it was yesterday, and um, we were like, probably two or three days before, I was like, hey, no, you're going to do this. Like, this is something that you've wanted to do for a while. Um, I want to kind of hold you to it, um, which is exactly the kind of relationship we have because she did the exact same for me. Um, I'd been talking about wanting to go back and finish my degree uh, for a while and she signed me up for classes and then was like, hey, I signed you up for classes. I was like, oh, cool. <laughs> um, so I was like, yeah, no, this is doing the exact same for you. So um, she has submitted for School of uh, Child Psychology and School of Social Work and we'll see, um, we'll see what she gets into. I'm excited. I'm very proud of her. Um, I know that was a really scary thing that she did. Um, yeah. Today was, uh, I don't know, today was a, a weird day. I um, didn't have anything especially hard to do today. Um, today wasn't like a high pressure day, but I was just, I was just going through it. I don't know what it was. Something about my headspace was just, just plain off today. Um, literally couldn't tell you what it was. I have no reason for it to be weird. Um, but it just was. Like, I, I struggled to get out of bed until, like, 11.30. Um, don't know why. But, um, yeah. And uh, Tay really helped me get out of bed, and then I did my my two workouts back to back, like as soon as I got out. Um, and that was very helpful. That helped me. Um, I know the three things that tend to pull me out when I get into slumps like that are exercise, journaling, and social time. Um, and I didn't have any friends coming around, so I did a little bit of the former too. Um, or a lot of exercise, a little journaling. Probably want to do a little bit more before I go to sleep. But, um, yeah, dude, it was, I don't know what it is. Sometimes this happens. I, I had an accident, um, not this past October, but in October 2022, where I fell off a roof, um, and I hit my head really bad. I woke up in the hospital, like, three hours later, um, and had a concussion that stayed with me for weeks and weeks and weeks. Um, worst concussion I've had in a while, like, ever, actually. And I've had a couple. Um, and, uh, yeah, I never really dealt with, like, depressive spells before that, but I, I got them afterwards, which is, like, not great. Um, but yeah, today was just one of those days that happens. Um, but we work through it. Tomorrow morning, I'm getting up early, and I'm running with my buddy Nick, um, which is good. I do much better when I wake up early. I do really well when I have an early exercise, and especially that early exercise is with a friend. Um, so I'm actually really looking forward to that tomorrow. Um, then I'm later in the evening, I'm meeting up with my buddy Patrick 
he and I are going to go check out this new gym that's that opened up this week. And uh, then my youngest brother, Jeremy, and his girlfriend, Zoe, uh, are going to be coming. We're gonna, they're coming over to the B unit. We're all going to play some, uh, some games and whatnot, and uh, it'll be good. It'll be good. Tomorrow's going to be a good day. Busy day, but good day. Um, yeah. I'm excited for the new year to start. Like, the school year. The new year. Um... Yeah, I, I've enjoyed school much more this time around now that I've made the conscious decision to go back to school as opposed to just kind of going on autopilot through the whole thing. There's, um, and also knowing that there are like different options for me, like social media is a thing, like engineering is a thing, like there are, there are different things on the table, like we have contingencies and... Um, knowing that I'm not necessarily locked into one way of life is really helpful and is letting me enjoy the process of being in school and connecting with people. That's one thing I want to do a lot more of is connecting this year. Specifically, I want to do a lot of collabs with, with other creators in the Austin area. Dude, I, I like 2023, one of our main focuses of that year was to build our network. And we did, um, definitely could have built it more, but we built it. Um, but in 2024, I really want to build a network of creators in Austin. That's one of the things that, well, one, I was talking to um, this creator agent, uh, this influencer agent, and she was like, dude, the like collabs are like the hack to not just to growth and being shown to new audiences, but also for me, having been on the show around like, nine other creators of really high caliber, I realized that, oh, well, one, I love people. And two, I just felt so inspired in that environment. And I was like, oh, I want to create things and I want to push boundaries. And I want to think about like, what kind of content I'm making and what kind of creator I am going to be. Like, what are next steps? It just, I loved being in that environment where I was like, oh, there's so much opportunity. There's all kinds of things. I was just, it was a very energizing, very empowering environment. And I want to continue that now. And I want to build that here. And so this upcoming year, I really want to focus on collaborating with other creators. Um, yeah, dude. Really looking forward to it. I need to figure out how. I, need to, I think I probably just need to reach out to people. Yeah. I need to start reaching out to people that I see in, in the Austin area. One of the things I need to figure out is also like what we're going to be doing. Because um, like I guess it'd be hard to collaborate on a fashion video. Maybe not. Maybe if we picked out each other's clothes or something. That could be cool. Fitness would be the easiest. I could just do a workout with someone else. Lifestyle, I could vlog going to an event with another creator. Hmm. I need to think about that. Because that'd be my biggest hiccup. Is like, what to do? But yeah, definitely want to, want to work with a lot more creators. Want to just, yeah, just build a network of people here. And have a good time and meet people. I really, I'm very extroverted. I love people. I love talking to people, hearing people's stories. Learning how they got into whatever it is they're into. You know? Um, that, that's exciting to me. Yeah. I want to do a lot more of that in 2024. And also just really get into the classes that I'm taking, um, basically the rest of this year are upper division classes, which are going to be hard. 
uh, the dynamic systems controls class that sounds daunting as fuck. Um, but they're also my more career gateway specific stuff, um, which is fun. That's the reason that I got into engineering in the beginning, taking classes on nuclear and renewables um, and learning more about like how a nuclear plant operates, like how to actually design reactors, um, that kind of thing, which I find fascinating. Um, and I'll undoubtedly be making videos about it. Because uh, I like sharing my geekdom. Um, but it's also easier to share that sort of thing when you're in that environment. Like, you're taking classes on it, you're studying it, you're, it's fresh in your mind, that, that kind of environment. I also just like being on campus. I love the energy of, of, a, of a university. I grew up in San Marcos, which is, um, it is where Texas State is. So I grew up in a college town, a, a relatively small town with a massive college. Um, so that like that feel of, of having a university around is very native to me. It's very natural. Um, it's very comforting. And I, I love the, the feeling of that learning environment and just where people, there's a lot of hope and there's just a lot of energy. Um, that to me is, is inspiring and I enjoy it. Yeah, I love being on campus. A lot of things have happened for me on UT campus while I, during my like broken tenure. Um, it's like its own home for me. I have my places I hang out, the things I like to see my friends. It's a good place. Anyway, that's about that. Pleasure as always. Peace.